Those were the two times that I almost went to jail. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, All Things Misha. My name is Tamisha, and this is going to be a Talks with Misha, but it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a story time, and this story time is going to be the time when I almost went to jail twice. Yes, twice. So if that's something that you're interested in and listening to, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so let's get started with this story time. Um... Okay, let me start with the, the first incident. So the first incident was I was in college. Well, both of them happened I was in college, but this one happened before the other. I was in college. It was my, um, it was my last, like, uh, it was my senior year, but I had to go to summer school to take a class because of whatever. But this particular time, I was in an apartment off campus and the semester was almost over. So I think this was about like April. This happened almost, this happened over, over 15 years ago. Yeah, over 15 years ago or almost 15 years ago. So it's around about that mark, but it was a end of the semester and I um, lived off campus and I had a roommate um, at the time. And um, I can't even really tell you like what happened, like what really put us on the wrong road with each other. But I know at one point, like her boyfriend was staying there and he would like smoke or something. And like the apartments that we lived in did not have like central heat and air. So all we had was a, we had central heat, but we had like an air conditioned unit. And it was terrible. Like the scent used to come in my room. And sometimes me personally, I don't really like to be that person. I'm even like that now. Certain situations, I don't like to be that person. So a lot of things I'll just kind of let slide, depending on what it is. But it just got too much. I think we maybe had possibly had words and she said she wanted to move out. Cool, that's fine. Well, like I said, the semester was about to over. I think we maybe had a month, a month or two left in the semester to um, you know, be at the school because we was gonna, you know, get out the lease and all that stuff and go on. But no, 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 no. I think I think both of our names was on the lease, I think. And like I was gonna move out at the end of the semester. But anyway, so being there, so it happened the light bill was in her name. Yes, the light bill was in her name. So of course the light bill being in her name, guess what she can do? She can go and get the lights turned off. She can get them turned off, turned on anytime she feel like it was just in her name, it wasn't in mine. So she went and got the lights turned off. I was pissed because I'm like, you know, the semester is almost over, like why, you know, you could just wait and whatever, but you did what you did, uh, cut the lights off. So then I had to go and put the lights in my name for about a month. Um, so it was a little irritating that I even had to do that. So sitting there, it was a Sunday. I remember laying on the couch and I don't know what happened, what got over me because I'm really not this person. Like I'm a sweet person, you know, and I don't even know what happened, but I was laying on the couch. Something came over me to be devilish and I played. I played. I played with an idea. I just played in the devil's background and was there. And at the time, it was a friend of mine that was there. And she, like, cause she moved out. Like, cause she wasn't really staying there. She would come, you know, things like I said, both our names on the lease. So she would go and come or whatever, but she really wasn't like living there anymore. And this particular time, she, I think like everything was out, but she had things in her closet, like a whole bunch of stuff pack, packed up in her closet. So, like I said, playing in the devil's um, backyard, I, front yard too, I had something that came over me to get the hair dye and put all over her things. Why? I have no idea. So... Before I did that, the friend that was with me at the time, she went in there and saw some things that had like tags on it. She took them and I, the stuff was like from TJ Maxx. She took them, went to TJ Maxx. I think either she got her size in the stuff or she got like, like returned them and got money for it or something like that. Can't really remember. Like I said, it was so long ago, but she removed the things and I got the dye and I went to work, like just tossing it everywhere 
on her items. Like I said, I have to this day, even after I've done it, I could not tell you why I've done that. Cause I'm not that person, but something got came over me that day. But anyway, did that, you know, went to bed and like the next morning, like going and getting ready for class. Like I told my friend, I said, when I woke up, I was like, I had a dream that I fought as a girl that she used to hang with, which I know her too. But I had a dream that I fought, not my roommate. I had a dream that I fought the other girl. I mean, it came over, you know, words were, were um, exchanged and, you know, we went at it. But I told my, uh, I told, uh, my friend about that that morning before we went to class. We went to class and I think I was like out of class or in class. I can't remember, but I think she was like either texting me, calling me. But I did remember, you know, picking up the phone and she was like, um, my roommate is there and you know she wondering about her stuff and all you know where I'm at type of thing and it was kind of calling me like scary that is one thing about me like I am not no matter what the circumstances is no matter what I'm up against I never back down to anything like I do not care like I'm gonna face it full force whatever happens happens but me being scary negative now that was back in the day now oh I'm calling the police because y'all crazy People don't fight anymore. People want to stab, kill. I am calling the cops, okay? Come play with me if you want to. You're going to jail, okay? But anyway, so, you know, it's calling me scary, all that stuff. So, I, oh, not, not me. Oh, oh, I'm coming, right? Got to the apartment, got inside. She wasn't there. I don't know what it went at, but she wasn't there. And moments later, she arrived. And, of course, you know, words of exchange. We fought a little, you know, we fought or whatever. And, um, like, she had a boyfriend at the time. He, like, I think he tried to jump in with my friend. She was like, uh, that's not about to happen. Like, how you about to, what, sir? Whatever. But that didn't happen. A little scuffle, you know, whatever, whatever. It ended. Cops showed up, right? So I'm like, what? You know, the police is here, you know. So I think, I don't know if someone called them prior to or someone called in the midst i'm not sure but all i know is the cop showed up i'm pretty sure we was i'm i'm i'm, I'm sure because by mouth i'm sure we were still exchanging words and we was outside and i remember like it was yesterday that cop put those cuffs on me i was hands behind your back i said am i going to jail and i i want to think he said no but he did put me in that back seat and i was sitting back there in that back seat and i was just looking at them talking outside and i was just looking like girl they can't call you mom and daddy w jail uh -uh. i'm too pretty for jail the orange is not my color well orange does look good on this chocolate skin but no orange is not my color like i was in that back seat like what is happening right now like i am not this person like i don't get into trouble like i'm a good girl you know um, so I'm sitting back there and they, you know, whatever they were doing. And then he, he came and he opened the door and he was just telling me that, you know, I think I, if I can, if, if my memory served me correctly, I want to say that he was telling me that, um, charges could have been pressed because I, you know, vandalized her things. And, um, but the fact that she kind of touched my stuff too. So it was like an even exchange. So nothing happened. It was just, you know, you're talking and all that kind of stuff, but Yes, you guys, I almost, literally, almost went to jail. Like, I was in the backseat of a cop car. What? Me? No. I don't do those things. I am a good, I do not get in trouble. I really go by the book. Like, I, no. But yes, that was the first time that I almost went to jail. In the backseat and everything. Like, I, I was just... Everything was just going through my mind. Like, I cannot call my parents. Like, this is not going to pan out well. Like, no. No, 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 no. But anyway, but that was the first um, the first incident of when I almost went to jail. I'm a good girl. But anyway, that was the first incident. Well, to the second. I want to think the second was a few months later or like a year later. Because it's like, because that one was either over 15 and this one's close to 15 so they're like neck and neck and but they're all like in the 15 range or whatever of how long ago it happened but this particular incident was was um 
I stayed, uh, uh, this is a different apartment. I was staying there because I was supposed to graduate in May. So I had an apartment there. And me and my roommate, we, uh, we, cause like she went to the school, we went to the school. So we kind of knew the people that were still at the school. They would have little club nights and all that stuff. So this particular one, cause I usually didn't go, it, I don't know why I went to this one, but I went to this one for some reason. I don't know what, what was going on, but I went to this one and we were there, you know, time to leave. And this guy I was dealing with at the time was supposed to come, um, to my house or whatever. And, um, we i don't know if i don't know if he got in the car with us or we met him at this we went to this apartment complex that they were at because i think like somebody was supposed to fight like come on you know i i'm the type of person like come on that nonsense so like i say i'm a good girl like, I, come on let's go we don't got you know you don't got to prove nothing come on we don't need to do none of this stuff i think he rode with someone i don't know but he um we went to the apartment complex and how this apartment complex is is when you come in you can go to the when you when you drive in you can make a left to go to that little section of it and you can like go around and get to the other parts but you can make a left or you can just go straight so this with this area we was like right in the front area to where you bail to the left so we were there the boys were the fight and now mind you it was just me and it was two other girls my friends that was out there and a bunch of other dudes right the dude i was dealing with him and this other guy had some words. I think about to fight. I don't remember like throwing hands with anyone or trying to hit. Or I don't remember those things. But I do remember going over there. Now, what happened once I got over there, I really don't remember. But I do remember like the next day on camp. I mean, like, not on campus, but like I said, a lot of my friends were still in college. Because like I said, we only had one graduation. A lot of them were graduating in May, but I would just already have finished that summer prior but um but yeah so we um there a lot of them were saying that oh Tamisha did this and all that I, I really don't remember because even when it was saying I was just like oh okay you know I really don't remember me throwing hands but I'm pretty sure I'm a good girl but one thing about me like don't get on my bad side like don't mess with anyone that you know I deal with or just friends with you know stuff like that like you know whatever like that but I guess I did, you know, I was out there fighting with my dude, whatever. But anyway, so that happened. And I don't know, like once they stopped or whatever, someone said the police was coming. Huh? Oh my gosh. Again, they said the police was coming, right? So everybody, you know, squ square, scramble or whatever, got in their cars, but to leave. And some of other people was going around the other way to where the police was coming in that way. So we like, I'm sitting there like, Oh shoot, well we can go through this way, that, that left side I told you about. And I think like a bunch of the cops just kept coming in, was going, it was like it was probably like two or three cops, no more than four, like coming, because you know sometimes they could be extra. But they were coming in, so we was like, oh, let's say we'll go this way. Man, as soon as we went to go out that way, the cop got in front of me and I was like, We're going to jail, you know. But the cop got in front of us, we got out the car, and what so happened, what saved us, honestly, because I don't know what would have happened if we weren't college students, but what saved us was um, us being college students, someone called the dean, so we all had to report back on campus, and I, just, I wasn't living there, but of course I was still a college student because I haven't graduated yet. So we all had to go on the campus, and what was so crazy was these, uh, our security, because like, of course you went to the school, so you kind of knew the security guards or kind of knew of them. If we was in the cafeteria, it was like I said, me and two of my girlfriends with a whole bunch of dudes, right? So it was just like, why y'all even in the midst of all this mess? It was crazy. So they kind of got us like one by one, almost had us in like an interrogation <laughs> type thing, like, because I, I remember the man did talk and he was like oh if you're lying like how i could go to jail and i was saying myself sir those people done turned us over to y'all we were good like i i didn't say that now, i was answering the questions i was real you know respectful and all that kind of stuff because like, again i don't want to go to jail but i knew you were lying you know but I, I i let him just have his peace but you know we all went one by one and you know they're talking to us and then of course we all got released we go you know if you lived in the dorm go in the dorm if you stayed all uh, leaving off campus you know, you can leave. But, like, I remember us all, like, just sitting there and be like, oh, they said this. They asked you this. They said that. So, we had that whole conversation. But, yeah, those were the two times 
that I almost went to jail. <laughs> mm -mm. No, never again. Um, would I put myself in anything crazy? I mean, but I was young then. I, I was in my early 20s. <laughs> so you would not catch me at this big age doing anything that's going to harm me of anything. I have too much to lose to put myself in any crazy situation to where I would lose my job an affair with me being a mom and all my help. No, I mm -mm. I have way too much to lose than to deal with any nonsense. Like I said, <laughs> what's the emergency? Yeah, somebody is trying to. I'm calling the police. I'm not going back and forth and fighting nobody. Not in this day and age. And plus, my body is too old to <laughs> break any bones. But um, but yeah, but those are the two times that I almost went to jail. And like I said, this is my actually my first story time on here. So if you guys will want more story times, you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you've ever experienced anything like this, like your college life. Like I said, I was in my early 20s. You cannot catch me now. You you can't. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm calling the cops. But yeah, but let me know if you have any situation like this or just anything. Um... But yeah, but if you've gotten to the end of the video, and I'm pretty sure this is probably short and sweet, uh, um, but if you've gotten to the end of the video, please, please, please consider subscribing and don't forget to like and comment. And if you are returning, thank you so much for keep clicking on my videos, coming back and watching me. And I'm so on the road to a thousand subscribers. So until the next video, thank you for watching. Well, I ain't having this bike. And like the third me go out, take. Me. What? Go to the Drake. What else are they gonna put?